Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commence in the 8th of April 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present. Raise your consciousness, remember why you are here. Find your life purpose, come out of that spiritual closet and take the steps to take charge of your destiny. Now, this week we're going to be using the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle Cards by Carl Gray. But before we get into this week's reading, I'd like to, as always, to say thank you so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And of course, everyone's making a big thing about the um, 8th of April. Um, and, you know, there's lots of big energies coming in. Um, lots of transformation and changes that are taking place and we will all survive it um, in one form or another and if you wait till the end of the show I will at the end of this uh, card reading I will tell you all about it um, so as always I give you the give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless so what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good the week commences in the 8th of April 2024. Okay, that wants to come out. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commences in the 8th of April 2024. Okay, so let's see what other card we've got. Okay, so we have got Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious, manifesting we have got higher heart activation dropping shields divine love your heart is healed and sword of light divine protection cords cut breakthrough energy okay so what the cards are saying for um you this week um is that There's lots of breakthroughs coming through this around this week. There's lots of higher wisdom, information, things that are being revealed um, to us uh, this week, whether in our own personal lives, um, our own inner life, uh, family, friends, the wider perspective, uh, the cosmic universe. You know, every there's lots of things that are being going to be revealed around. This, this week um, and you're going to be finding that to navigate this you need to actually stay in your heart space this week. You need to um, stay in that energy of unconditional love and certainty knowing that things are going to be moving forward um, for you and for everyone around you. You know everything is working out as it should in divine order. And this is a week where if you stay in your heart center and you stay focused on the positive aspects, then you can manifest anything you want into your life. But you, but only you can do that um, as an individual and with the collective consciousness as well. You know, know that this week you are protected and that if you want to release anything to um, transmute it, so that it doesn't hold you back, it doesn't stop you moving forward, then this is really a week to do it. Um, as I said, you've got lots of protection around you. And if you stay in your heart whilst you're doing this, you will find it will be so easy to remove things that no longer um, need to be in your life. You can transmute things that are not that brilliant. You can actually move forward and do so much more. And by you doing this as an individual, you're actually helping the collective. So you're actually helping your family, your friends, your neighbours, uh, the public, the world, the world as a whole stage. This is a beautiful, beautiful week for this. Um, so, you know, embrace it this week. Embrace, be, embrace being alive this week. Don't let things hold you back. Don't let, thing, don't let things stop you from seeing that the, the beauty in life, to seeing that there is a purpose, that, you know, things are okay. They are going to be okay this week. 
you know, as soon as you start um, getting rid of all the negative stuff in your life, and that includes all the media news, fear, hate, everything divide, everything like that. As soon as you let that all go and you come back to your heart center, you come back to who you truly are, then everything is possible and you can manifest anything you want. And that's really what the cards are saying this week. You know, be conscious with your manifesting. What is it you want to bring into the world that's for the highest good for you and for everyone around you? You know, what cords do you want to cut? What do you want to remove from your life that is holding you back, that's not serving you? You know, have the trust, allow your heart to expand this week, to be in joy, to be in happiness. And if you do all of this this week, then you are going to be amazed at what is going to manifest and come in, into your life. So really, that's all the cards are saying to me this week. Yeah, that's, that's all they're saying to me. Of course, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation, which is absolutely fine because I draw these cards for you and what you need to know for your highest good. So if one card stands out more than the other, look at the, that picture, that message. What does it mean for you on a personal level? And if you get a completely different reading from all the cards together, that's absolutely brilliant. That is the message for you. And if you do get a different reading um, or it makes sense, then do let me know either publicly in the comments or message me privately. I always reply to everyone who, message me, who messages me about the cards. So I'll show you the cards again. We have got Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious Manifesting. You can manifest and anything you want. Higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Go within your heart this week, allow your heart to heal. Find the love in everything around you and in yourself. Sword of light, divine protection, cords cut, breakthrough energy. You can release anything that no longer serves you. And by doing that, you will be able to move forward so much easier. So I hope you enjoyed that card reading. Now, um, as I said, we do have the um, 8th of April, which um, obviously if you're watching this card reading is Sunday the 7th. And if you're watching this on Monday the 8th, um, then you want to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which is taking place Monday evening, the 8th at 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, then watch the replay of the show. I don't actually have a guest this week. Um, my guest was unable to make the show. Um, so I kind of like sat with it and was guided that because it is the 8th of April and there are a lot of energies going on and some people may be a little bit um, worried about what's going to happen in the future with all these changes and you know, everyone keeps talking about cosmic changes, energy changes, you know, everything that's going on in the world, etc. I thought I'd actually talk to you about the future and about how amazing it is and that by using future life progression, you can actually get to see and experience that future so you don't have those fears now you don't have those worries and you can see the steps that maybe you need to take. So I'm going to be talking a bit about future life progression and then I'm actually going to be taking you, guiding you on a journey 10 years into the future where you get to see what you're doing, where you are. You also get to see what's happening in your country and the world so that you can see how wonderful it is and that there is nothing to worry about. So you'll be able to enjoy being here at this moment in time. So I'm really looking forward to doing, doing this show. I haven't done a solo show for a little while. So please do join. Um, it'll be great to have some company. There's nothing worse than talking to yourself. And of course, you do get to ask me any questions you want um, about the future, um, fu you know, future life progression. Um, so I can answer those questions for you. So do check out the show. It'll be, as I said, it'll be wonderful to see you there. Keep me company, um, you know, because you can ask questions, leave comments, thoughts uh, in, in the comments. Um, 
so that, uh, yeah, I can have a conversation with you live. Isn't that brilliant? So have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you, if not on Monday, then next week. Take care. Bye.